Arts for the Community at Thomas University presents Art Talks at Six. As a partner grant recipient, this program is supported in part by Georgia Council for the Arts through the appropriations of the Georgia General Assembly. Georgia Council for the Arts also receives support from its partner agency, the National Endowment for the Arts. This project is supported in part by an award from the National Endowment for the Arts on the web at arts.gov. All right, welcome. Today I am pleased to be talking with Dr. Nan Lu. Nan is currently professor of drawing, painting, and art education classes in the Department of Visual Arts at FAMU, at Florida A&M University. Uh, he brings his Chinese heritage and his Western training together with his art. Uh, his art training includes both Chinese ink and brush painting as well as Western methods of oil painting. Uh, so today he will be sharing some thoughts about his work and we can look at his website and get a sense of uh, his work. So welcome, Dr. Nan Lu. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, <laughs> Richard. Yeah. Hey. Uh, some folks in our audience may, be, uh, may remember watching the performance you did a couple of years ago at Thomas University uh, where you were creating some ink brush paintings uh, as your wife was playing a traditional Chinese instrument. Um, I didn't know if you wanted to speak a little bit about that and, and your collaboration with her and then... Um... Okay, yeah, uh, I think I, I grew up in China uh, uh, I was born in uh, 1974, uh, so I, well, I grew up in Tianjin near Beijing, is a large metropolitan area, uh, like a, the third biggest city in China, kind of like a Boston, you know, like a seaport uh, <laughs> next to Beijing. Like a, now it's half hour high speed train, you can travel from Tianjin to Beijing. So Tianjin is uh, have a, a historical like industrial center, cultural center. So when I was young, I studied the Chinese ink painting. So that's when I was in uh, my gra uh, very young, like uh, nine years old, I started study Chinese brush painting. Uh, in my grandmother's house, I remember they're on the wall, they're uh, hanging a very famous Chinese uh, ink painter, uh, Qi Bai Shi's artwork on the wall. When I was very young, so I always uh, observed those lotus, uh, you know, the flower and birds painting. So I asked my grandmother uh, who this guy is, you know, who started, you know, who created this piece? And then uh, she told me, uh, it's a gift uh, to my grandmother's father, so my great grandfather. So in Beijing in the 1940s, they're neighbors. So they live in the same uh, courtyard. So the Qi Bai Shi so gives three paintings to my grand uh, great grandfather. So he's become my first teacher. I never met him, but I just start pick up my brush and imitate the painting on the wall. Uh, kind of like a, I, I have that passion. I love to paint. You know, after school, just uh, repeatedly uh, use the ink and paint on the shrimp paper and paint. So when I was nine, third grade, you know, my mom sent me to the local pa uh, children palace. We have that time uh, art class is free on weekends. So you, you if you you want to uh, join our class on the uh, district, there's each district have their own children's palace. So uh, like Sunday morning, uh, parents send the kids there. We have a group uh, study with the teacher for ink painting. Uh, I continued about two years. After my elementary school, uh, I went to a, a, like a middle school. I met my first art teacher. So he's, uh, he was trained uh, in Tianjin Fun Art Academy. It's very good uh, traditional Western style oil painter. So mm. I have that lucky. So my, professor, my, my first art teacher trained us how to draw uh, and how to paint. Uh, completely Western style. So after school, three o'clock, we went to his art studio. He have a class, a studio uh, next to our classroom. So several of us like meet together with the art teacher. He set up the still life, also the plaster cast, you know, the drawing. So we start okay. draw, and then that time we not, we never worry about the grades, you know. So just after class, we go there for fun. So we compete each other to see who's the best to, to for painting and drawing. And then on the wall, we see he, all of his oil painting and drawing hanging like a salon style, you know, the piled up. So right. we oh, we are the mayor. We become a real artist. That'd be fun, you know. So we we paint every after uh, after school time three o'clock to five o'clock. So he, he kind of uh, lock us in the room and three or four of us. And then we, we just draw. After one hour, he come back, he kind of give a critique and see who's the best, who you know, we learn from each other. So that's the golden period uh, in my middle school, about the five years to six years we study. Uh, never worry about grade, but he always encouraged us to be uh, considered future as our major, our major student. So 
that time, uh, Nankai University, when in my hometown, I, after school, I, on a bike, I go home. On the way, I cr cross the Nankai University campus. So that time, they're, they're building an art building, like a new art department, oriental <laughs> art department there. Uh, so 1991, they, they started recruit the first grade, uh, first student, national-wise, because Nankai University is a top 10 university in China, kind of like a Columbia, you know, like a Yale type old, the first private university in Tianjin, in, in China. So uh, they have the first art department, like uh, built by the professor Fan Zeng. Fan Zeng is a contemporary ink painter. So he's very famous today. Uh, during that 80s, he sold his painting in Japan. The Japanese built an art museum for him. Only two person in Japan, they built art museum. One Picasso, one is Fan Zeng. So he's got recognized and very famous, sold all of his paintings. So he used that money, donate to Nankai University. That's his uh, own, uh, he graduated from there. Uh, and then he donate the money and then also match from the government to build our building. So uh, that's the Oriental Art Department. So I see that building growing, uh, you know, start uh, the, the foundation to the to finish. And then I'm in high school that time. So I have a goal. I want to go to there to study my uh, painting in Chinese painting. Uh, so they, they recruit students and in 1992, I got in, but the exam is very hard, very competitive. The uh, whole year, they only admitted 10 students across the whole China. So 400 people try to get in to that exam. We have three days on-site exam, examination for the art, you know, so you had to take those art exam for three days, during that three days. First day is the sketch, uh, you, you come, you, you carry your portfolio, like the, the art school portfolio in middle school, like maybe 20 drawing or painting together, put in the portfolio, you come to on-site. So not everyone can get the permission to, to take exam. So the first is eliminate half of the, the, the candidate. So they, how they eliminate, they see your sketch because they don't know whether there's your real your drawing or not. So they see your drawing ability. So 20 minutes, you draw like, a, they set up a student for as a model. So you, you're using the pencil, or whatever, a charcoal, you draw a life-size uh, sketch, 20 minutes. So after that, the faculty will see your, your portfolio. They see your sketch ability and then they see your artwork. Then from there, they give you the, the permit to take the exam on uh, first day of April, I remember that three days. So uh, there are 400 people get the uh, like a, the first round, and then maybe 200 left for the the on-site exam. On-site exam, and then we start have the first day have live drawing from the model. They set up the model, and then work on the the portrait. And then then afternoon we we have an exam for a Chinese brush painting. You select one uh, maybe. Uh, portrait, they give another full body model you, you draw using the ink. The next day, uh, you, we have the special subjects for landscape, uh, you know, like uh, you, you choose one subject, could be the flower and birds painting, could be sub, uh, landscape, uh, give you like two hours, you create uh, some, your special painting. Afternoon, you have calligraphy exam. They give a poem, like a tongue poem, four sentence, you, uh, like maybe 28 characters. Uh, you can, you have to create one style, uh, like a calligraphy, and then like maybe Kai style or Xing style. I, I remember it's a Kai style. You can select, uh, you know, your favorite style, but based on that content, you create a whole piece of art, calligraphy art. And then after that, they give you another half hour, same day, you create something you, you're good at for calligraphy. So two sections for calligraphy. The next day, third day, uh, on morning, we have another uh, exam. Uh, and then afternoon, we have the oral exam for the art history. You know, kind of like a, you talk to the uh, three professors in the room individually. They ask you question of why you choose this art as your future career, you know? So through that three days, there are only 40 students left for the, for the July. For July, you have an exam for English, literature, history, whatever, for the, the national, kind of like a uh, SAT, you know, that's the, right. you, you get that 40 person. And then finally, 30, uh, 30 people eliminate and then the 10 people get in. So my city, Tianjin, only have two person admitted. I, I was one and then another guy. So whole, na whole nation, like nine, uh, 10, 10 students. So through the four years, we have training for Chinese brush painting, ink painting. Uh, we have different genre like ink, flower and birds, uh, by mail, the white line drawing, the black and white line drawing. We have figure study, nude, you know, uh, from the close model to nude. So we have all different classes based on the credit hours. So like uh, Monday, to Mon Monday to Friday, every morning, four hours training for the student class. Afternoon, we have other class, like English, whatever, social study. So whole four years, very busy. I remember all of the other department, they have a Friday Friday they off, you know, but we still have class on Friday. So, you know, our major in China is really a lot of study, you know, 
but uh, that gives us the, the basic training, you know, like uh, everyone's good, uh, each student learn from each other. Uh, I have one classmate, he's really good at sketch. So we, we learn from him. Another guy from uh, Northeast uh, mountain area. So he draw landscape really nice. So we learn mm -hmm. from him. So through the four years, we have field trips. Each year we, we went to a different, uh, like we went to Dunhuang, the Buddhist uh, on the Silk Road from Be Tianjin to Beijing to Xi'an, then to Dunhuang on the, uh, from the north, uh, east to the north, west, northwest. So that's the field trip, maybe three weeks. But the longest one is one month. So we, we go out you know, to, to study that. I think four years after graduate, I started uh, you know, the art education. Uh, I came, uh, came, to the United, uh, came to the United States after I studied in Beijing for three years for my MA degree in art education. And then I came to the United States, uh, studied my art education, my MA in Little Rock, University of Arkansas, Little Rock. I got a, uh, like a scholarship and a, a citizenship, so I came. So otherwise I couldn't afford. Right. So I, I got there for two years and then I came apply for PhD in art education and at FSU, Florida State. I got that and came to FSU uh, for my PhD in art education. So I started two years. Then uh, I don't want to uh, you know, like drop my painting. So I, I applied MFA meanwhile. So I finished my core course in art education, PhD. And then I spent another two, two more years uh, apply for the you know MFA they accept me so I, I have a studio space so I can paint mm -hmm. for painting so I got two degrees from FSU so after I finished in 2007 I start teaching at FAMU uh, as an adjunct professor teaching life drawing one semester and then next semester I, they changed me to the visiting position for three years uh, and full time and then I teach drawing painting different level after that I apply for the tenure track so now I'm full professor so 13 years at FAMU Wow, and so you and but you have a doctorate in art education, right? As well, yeah, yes, so, yes, yes. I finished during the so well, I finished were, my MFA, you know, and then I, I finished my dissertation, right? You know, like a kind of start okay. teaching at FMU. Wow, um, I w one of the first questions that came up, uh, just kind of it, I'm interested in mm. having gone through all of that experience, uh, in the in the um, in your in the Chinese, uh, uh, art education upbringing, just seeing um, that difference in the Eastern and Western versions of art education mm -hmm. and um, what you see are the differences and strengths or weaknesses of each and yes uh, in my call in, in the original in China, they teach uh, follow the teachers, the teacher centered. So teacher always lead you uh, for the study. <clears throat> so here in the United States, I think it's self motivated. So the personality and you know, individuality, you know, that's the most important. So students have a question uh, here, you know, in the United States, you ask question and then you start to <clears throat> to, to a certain direction. So professor always kind of cultivate, lead your own interest over there. In China, the professor always give you the lecture, you know, like the sort of history, because over there, three thousand history years history, you know, long history. So <laughs> there's so many artists there already. So it, it, they're in rich in the historical context. So you had to understand what happened before, and then you you start your own. Sometimes you lost, you know, like because you you uh, they're so rigid, you know, like you had to know what this happened. If you don't know, you couldn't really develop your your personality. So over there, emphasis, maybe in the college, the first three years, we, we copy the masterpiece, repeat again and again for all of the famous artworks. So from different artists, from different period of time, so that you learn their language and technique. <clears throat> and then the last year, they give you a, a <clears throat> senior exhibition, you know, you can create, give you a special uh, space. And that one professor lead you for that uh, senior exhibition, you know, so from there, you can develop your concept, combine whatever technique you learn. You know, so over there, uh, emphasis on the teacher centered, teacher lead you, uh, like the calligraphy, teacher show you how to hold the brush, you imitate the, the basic uh, strokes and then the composition and the styles. You had to master all of these different, uh, uh, you know, the composition, different styles through history. Uh, then you, you develop your own. So that's over there. Here, you know, you have your questions and then professor give you the directions you go there and then to reach the specific technique, whatever, to base on your own idea, right? So I think here is more freedom, uh, but sometimes, you know, the, at the beginning, at the foundation, I, my belief is in, as a fundamental, you need to have the professor lead you because the professor have a, a more experienced professional experience that goes through all of this. So they give you the basic. So in my class, I want to uh, hear at FAMU, I try to introduce the basic technique of different styles, give to students, open their eye. Oh, they, they, they can see, appreciate, different aspects of art. 
And then they had to practice the foundation first, and then they grow. But they, they never lost their self. They always ask their questions, their ideas. So that's what I feel the difference between these two culture and our education. Yeah. And it's it's interesting when you're describing the that technique because um, it's almost like um, in the West, it's almost like a, a medieval uh, apprenticeship thing where you're a craftsman and you're just um, learning under certain masters until you have perfected your yes. craft and then you can go off and, and express yourself. Yes. Um, and I think we've gotten away from that uh, since modernism, basically. Yeah, modernism, postmodernism. Uh, yeah. Certainly has, uh, you know, art education is totally different. So that's interesting. And I, I don't know if it's, in, I'm sure partly it's it's cultural, um, and like all of that history you're talking about, yes. um, maintaining that level of consistency and that sort of thing is is important. Um, whereas here we're just trying we're, we're trying desperately to get away from our history. It's almost like a <laughs> a rush to sort of forget it. So it's kind of interesting to um, to think about. Uh, I know we were introduced again uh, when you did your performance, but th then also I've uh, taken some um, classes with you in Chinese uh, ink and brush painting. And we talked a little bit during that uh, time about uh, sort of the Taoist philosophy in Chinese brush painting. And uh, I've just been curious and it's, you, you can answer this or not, but are, are, do you consider yourself a Taoist or uh, can you talk a little bit about that at all, or? Yeah. Yes. Uh, in my painting, the, all of this culture if, uh, influenced me. You know, like uh, when I grew up in China, that when we studied Chinese painting, the ink painting, always professor always talk about the philosophy behind it, uh, the, like the empty space. You know, mm -hmm. the 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 intense ink line, and you know, let me share my maybe the my website with you, and you can see some art sure. artwork. So maybe sure. we can use that. Uh, let me share. Fantastic. Uh, and then, uh, if you can, uh, you know, sometimes you can just like. Uh, uh, Luna Art, that's my website, L -I -U -N -A -N, Art, uh, Luna Art, LunaArt.com, you can search. I'll definitely share hey, a link. Hey, yeah. Later with your student, you can see uh, some, for example, when we look at my artwork, uh, see here, uh, that's my current uh, oil painting. You can see all of this uh, famous student series. That's my most recently life-size, 80 inches, 60, 70 inches. I stretch my own canvas. I try to create a cam uh, campus life for a family student, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. so, so these are all on canvas, you know, life size. So the student, that's a life, you know, the, the most uh, contemporary life on campus life uh, at the HBCU, you know, mm -hmm. so those are my, my, my large, most recently large oil paintings, you know, but when you look at my, my ink painting, uh, I cr recently I created a serious ink painting on the, on this similar, you know, like the, uh, subject uh, from your student, a life size. Uh, you see the white space over here? Yes. Uh, the, the background in traditional Chinese painting, we learned, you know, in and yang, you know, like emptiness and uh, intense, dark and light, white and black, you know, soft mm -hmm. and hard, all of those opposite characteristics uh, reflect inside my ink painting. Uh, I leave the white background. I don't want to add anything because I want to focus on the portraits, the image, okay. uh, the expression or the design on the students, you know, so you can see that, right? Uh, so uh, like this, uh, let me find another piece, like this piece, uh, you can see the background, only the calligraphy occupied on this right side, right? So, but the, she's looking that way, the background is large empty space, that's a contrast. Also, you see the hair, I didn't cover all of the space, right? Uh, right. Contrast, so certain area I put, uh, put, uh, put more, render more details, but certain area I leave it white, but you can imagine all of this uh, hair continued, uh, especially like this type of yin and yang, philo Taoist philosophy, mm -hmm. contrast. Uh, that's how it ref reflect in my, uh, my view or my master in painting, you know? Uh, so like this one, black and white, you see the white background make the contrast with the black image or the figure, mm -hmm. right? I, that, that's just the, uh, the idea. That's my idea behind it. Uh, like this one, I just created this one. This is a new one I created two weeks ago on Saturday. It, one, I found one picture of one of my students between the art class. I tried to take a picture. I talked with her, chat with her, but she, she tried to cover her face. But I, I took a, fit, a photo, very quick catch that moment. She, but later on, I, I found, oh, hands up. Don't shoot. That's the current. What happens outside here in this in, the, in our culture here in sure. the United States? So I thought this may be a good uh, 
painting for you know for a, uh, like a, a conversation so i use that uh she's hands up you know like but cover her face right uh, you don't know who she is you know like the identity but uh, you can feel all oh, the currently we're facing this social issue in our mm -hmm. culture you know uh, so that that but the background leave complete white you know only black and white contrast you know like that using the design white color the 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 shirt uh the black you know the the scarf whatever on top you know turban you know all of black you know so reinforce that concept contrast uh, from the doist you know like yeah. this one i saw another student after my one of my chinese brush painting class he's watching his uh, cell phone uh, movie whatever uh, listen to the music so i saw the shirt uh black lives matter so it's fun you know but that time is that's two years ago, you know, like not today. But right. I, I, I look, search back to the, the the pictures. This already in our culture. That during two years ago, this this shirt, he already wear that shirt. I didn't realize that. I just took a photo, whatever he between the class. I just you know want to record his life. But now I look back. I say, oh, here, that's reflect today. You know, like the 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 current issue. But uh, that's a moment. Uh, the background. I do only using calligraphy kind of re record uh, after painting class. Uh, you know yeah yeah so let's let's look at the chinese printing i was in college you know that have a section i, I did uh you can see i did this in my college this piece from a life paint life drawing so like an <laughs> old model old man he's standing there uh, uh post as for us like using a stick you know so yeah. on this one i you see the the stick i just draw it's fade away empty space here mm -hmm. focus on the face right uh, only the facial expression but it's in the shadow uh, using the calligraphy type of lines uh, suggest a little bit of shadow uh, empty space contrast with t intense dark shadow right uh, and you know contrast toys right so whole painting finish my professor uh, like this piece so he kind of like a using the calligraphy kind of criticize my work. Uh, art is emphasis on emotion and painting especially emphasis on the contrast. Uh, so, you know, so that's the time. 1995, I did this piece. So th so those were your, your teacher's words are on the left. Yes, on the left. So, but he, 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 re he criticized uh, like this piece. He said this is one of Lunan's best painting from this class and you know that's his name he 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 signed this uh, nice. so i still remember after he see my painting he will I, i'll I'll sign this for you <laughs> and then he you know i did four paintings on the same morning i set up four different easel from different angles so i remember this is the first one so everyone liked this one so you know so that's in the college but you see my most recent painting i did one of my students i took a photo and uh, she's uh, the other day she wear the hair uh, with the flower you know they have that uh, yeah. so i i like that i had the, the peony as a background i created a new so you can see the that the college style to today but i still leave the background empty on top to contrast the hair you know uh, so th those are the very light touch for the skin you know so that's when i was in the junior year uh we have a field trip remember on the silk road when i come back mm -hmm. we went to uh close to tibet so we see the i see the on the on the travel on the road i see it on the side uh, she's carrying the some some stuff on the home on the way home i took a photo based on that i paint uh, like a portrait uh based on the impression or memory you know so this one in tibet uh, in tar temple is a buddhist uh, tibetan temple so this old woman she's kind of uh worshiped there you know uh yeah. very loyal to the you know the to the the buddhist buddhism so i took a photo of her and then i, I created an ink painting based on this and you know you can see the contrast same way uh the the energy that we call qi the energy flow in the, the painting so i try to make her as the focal point uh the contrast goes to her face uh the the texture the details the background i leave some white area you know contrast with the dark ink you know so this this make this painting uh, so yeah you so the, all of these are, are influenced me uh in the through the time so so i create this one two years ago or based on the uh, photo uh that's that tar, same life experience but you can see that the style changed empty space here right so uh, a couple of interesting things come up when looking at this it's i notice a difference in the spontaneity of your lines when you're um mm -hmm. doing something more from life than from a photograph yes yes interesting. and also the difference in spontaneity of these versus your oil paintings and kind of that totally different mindset of having to work in layers 
Yes, yes. Uh, oil. Uh, oil painting is more, uh, you know, when, uh, but uh, let me, let's uh, see. Uh, when I was uh, in college, we did a lot of, you know, those are my most, in, re, later you can you can view this in detail, sure. but in college we were trained the traditional style. You see those lotus, yeah. you know, those are the uh, four feet big size, but this is my recent, I did a demo for another, uh, you know, like a uh, conference, but, uh, you know, when my early work, you can see in the college we did, we studied, uh, uh, let me go back. This in, this one, I was 18 years old. <laughs> I still, my first time painting bamboo in class. Well, three weeks, flower and birds painting. We, we based on different uh, subjects, we study bamboo, lotus, you know, but this is my first bamboo painting. You see, when we're very young, the energy is really strong, right? So this yes. is one stroke from the bottom up and then the leaves. And then I, I still remember, I dropped an ink dot here <laughs> at my finish, but that that's the moment. Uh, when I was 18 years old, but now when I paint this, or, or when I came to the United States, it's changing. The style kind of mm -hmm. changed, right? Uh, and uh, in, uh, these are more more demo to for another class I did for the, my American student. You know, like the large size painting. But as time goes, the strokes different. You know, the the experience different. The landscape. You know, uh, let's see the the we we were trained in the traditional call uh, uh, subject like the gongbi style. Uh, let me show you. This I did in college. We have a cer okay. certain subject. We work on the copy the masterpiece from the Song Dynasty uh, the, on the Sukh. Uh, so outline first and then dye in color. So those are one week every day. This piece are like a maybe six, six, uh, 17 inches by 17 inches. It's not too big, but no. it's mo I still remember it's really refined detail through layers, kind of like watercolor, but you go through layers, uh, all of the feathers on the, bur on the sparrow, the birds. Uh, the bamboo, the plum, you know, so those are exactly like this one, the pomegranate, you know, so all of these details, the the, hair, the feather on the bird, you know, so those are the special technique we learned from that, that my professor, but she studied from the museum, copied the masterpiece in museum, hmm. then she, she kind of like this flower, you know, we paint the color through maybe 30 coats, 30 layers of paint, so that white achieved for 30 layers of uh, like ink and wash. I still remember that time, you know, yeah, layer and layer, you know, not just, uh, but these are the next year we study the figure, copy the old Tang Dynasty, old uh, court lady, uh, you know, so you can see those fine detailed, all of these lines, a freehand ink drawing, you know, so very uh, rigid training, yeah. and, you know, and you can control the brush, whatever, make uh, the the west of the line, the the, the strands, the spirit, you know. So and then this one's even longer. Uh, wide uh, hand scrolls we copied from one of my professor. She copied from the museum, the town dynasty, the master, the concubine travel in the spring. You know, all of the six horses on this painting. So this is a section of it. You know, like we, I remember six weeks class we did this uh, oh. every day, uh, eight o'clock to twelve o'clock, four hours. <laughs> uh, you know, through layers, you couldn't make a mistake. If you make a mistake, everything shows. You know, very transparent. Oh, yeah, sure. The layers color. But that's the we go later on. I I started learn the mural painting. Remember, we travel to the um, in Dunhuang. Right. We see the mural painting in the Buddhist uh, grottoes. You know, so when we come back, that influenced me. So I did some some like a tempera. This is a tempera on oh, rice paper. Oh, oh, a more more modern style. So yeah. I tried a different style, you know. So that that's the you know in the other class in China in, we study landscape, we study flower and birds. Uh, let me see. There's one. Uh, yeah, this one I did in college. This one one of my classmate signed this because we worked together. I painted the bird. She he painted the background. You know, so because one day he got a new paper, we want to try that new brand and see how that looks good. And, you know, so after that, that's living in harmony. That's he signed this title and then uh, cooperate with Nan Liu together. So I still remember that that paper turned out nice. You know, not very expensive, but it's really good effect. So yeah. I still have this painting. You know, yeah. so that's the the demo I did for the some other class. You know, no. is collaboration. Uh, something that you do a lot with uh, with with paintings like this, or in traditional yeah. settings, is that something so, that happens? sometimes? Yeah, sometimes like we pr work together as a whole piece. Like a, a certain time, the artists meet together. They have a kind of like a, a cooperation together. Someone paint the bird, someone paint the rocks, someone paint the background. You know, a big painting. So that's for fun. You know, like uh, together. Yeah. 
But uh, here in the United States, I didn't really, I paint a lot of landscape in Florida, you know, when I was in grad school, you know, like uh, you see all of the Tallahassee around yeah. Tallahassee, I, I go outside Lake Jackson. So that's where I started the 2001, you know, when I was in MFA program. So I, I go out two hours for one, like a plein air painting. Yeah. Uh, I love the color, the lush tone, you know, in Florida, the sunshine, it's beautiful. Lake Jackson is really my favorite place. That time I went there, Lake Jackson, where they load the boat, you know, so yeah. I, I walk into the shore, you know, the, the neighborhood. Uh, I paint, you know, some small painting, one hour, two hour, very quick. You, you can see the from background to the foreground, very spontaneous, one layer, that's it. Uh, some are I, I, like the Lake Maclay, Garden Maclay, you know, like I paint. Yeah. Two hours. That that's not not too big. Like thirty inches. That that's the size. Uh, two twenty some inches. You know, this uh, Appalachian Cola, the the national forest. I, I go there. So you know, so th those are the time I paint. Uh, you know, in the graduate school, I did uh, uh almost oh, over fifty. 50 landscapes like a lake a lake jackson the lily uh, using the palette knife you know so yeah. kind of like an ink painting i just using the, the pigment the oil paint to cover it you know i was gonna say it, it has a similar um uh spontaneity to those to the ink and brush because it, it, i didn't know if uh if you found um yeah that, that gave yeah, Plenty very natural. Yeah, and, you, you know, my oil painting is oh, different from the the Westerner. You know, you can sure. see. But I love impressionist artists. You know, but I, I do my own and you know, inspiring from nature. I just paint yeah. using the palette knife, brush stroke, whatever, using that dots, lines. You know, color. So in a different way, you know, you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the through the you know the the beautiful cloud. You know, the sky. But nature is always my inspiration, you know, because I, I like nature, you know, especially uh, Florida. It's beautiful here. Uh, mm. Outside, you know, you can go anywhere to paint, you know, like a natural sky, blue, you know, the color. This is a Hurricane Katrina. I just still remember when I painted oh, yeah. the, uh, the Lake Jackson, the, this wind blow my canvas on the, on the ground. <laughs> See this white color? I painted that the third time. My first layer is much better than this. So <laughs> I pick it up, dust off all of the, the, the mud, and then I continue. Three times my canvas on the floor, on the on the oh, mud, yeah. you know. So that's the last one. So I, I, I this painting I gave a one to one of the friends. So so that's the same day after the hurricane. So I did another one. So two two paintings, but uh, I still feel the you know nature is always my. Uh, this one is a uh, I come back two days. So one day finish and then come back another day to touch some more details. Yeah. But uh, the longest one I painted for the landscape is this one. I did a whole week for this piece. That's the Lake Lafayette. You know, that's mm -hmm. where my backyard. So I walked there in the winter, 2009, 10, you know, the December to January. So winter holiday, 10 days because I had to wait for the underneath layer dry to go back touch the details for the branches oh, sure. and then the foreground the middle ground and foreground the swamps you know so that i remember 40 by 40 inches that's i can carry the biggest one so <laughs> back and forth but uh, finally i finished you know in after that holiday so that's the longest one but a little different technique for that one Definitely. you know yeah so uh, I, I do a uh, different styles you can you can always see that you know like uh, when i go uh when you see the drawing you know, like the in college remember the we first year we, we do the David. Remember the Michelangelo, sure. Michelangelo's large sculpture. We have that plastic cast, life size. So set in the studio, you know, oh, like wow. uh, like uh, four weeks every day. You know, you can see the details, hatching, cross hatching. I still remember yeah. this drawing. You know, I learned a lot. You know, but start from the the outline to the final finish. But uh, that's the the training for the drawing, uh, first drawing class in the college. But everyone's good, you know. But I'm I'm okay, you know, like uh, uh, in the group. But uh, everyone kind of even your Chinese brush ma uh, Chinese painting major. But you had to go through this. Sure. You know? Yeah. Next assignment sure. is the real life figure, old man charcoal drawing. So I still remember hatching using the hatching for the this sure. about three days, you know, like uh, six hours. Uh, but life size, uh, and then. Next year we have a half body upper torso, you know. So old man, uh, Grandpa Liu. So he, I like uh, you know hatching. So I use the contour line with hatching. We study the face and the hands. So this one I focus on the structure of the, the anatomy, how to yeah. study the hands and the face, you know. So then this uh, junior year we have the nude uh, life drawing, you know, like for the figure, we do the, the anatomy study. Yeah. You know, so I didn't come uh, finish the foot, and I don't want. I want to make just a focus on the body, so right. I'm gonna leave it white. Uh, you know, the uh, female, male, 
body, you know, so study through sure. the years. That remember the professor, another professor tried to demo on the on my drawing. So the, uh, he's, oh. I did this one. The, he he showed me how to do the muscle and the structure, more more value, you know, yeah. using char charcoal. So I still remember those days. And then we use ink brush to do the nude model. So the model sitting there, uh, like a line there. So I kind of start from here kind of like calligraphy continue to the body everything finished mm -hmm. about 20 minutes like quick uh sketch i was gonna say that's a much faster uh, flow thing. you see that everything flow strike only catch the structure no not many shadow no shadow just the structure uh based yeah. on the muscle and the bones you know mm -hmm. so we go through those uh, when i came to little rock i did the etching you know like using the photo or the photo uh -huh. so, I, I, I travel in in china we on the senior <laughs> year we have exhibition you had a field trip so I went to Northern China to that village. Let me show you a series I did uh, for that senior show, uh, you know, like the Taihang Mountain series. So that this painting I painted in the, uh, this one, the, uh, this is the second one I paint, right? Shasha, mm -hmm. but this is the first one. I, when I come back, we live in that village for uh, one month. One, my classmate and me hiking into the mountain. And then we tried to stay there for one week, but after the third day, they have a heavy snow and we couldn't come out, no transportation. So we just stay there, no electricity at night. So we just draw the people, talk to the people, eat the food, you know, but that's a nice experience, four weeks. So every day the kids carry my sketchbook around. So you can see that very cold, Shasha, she's five years old that time. She carried my sketchbook after snow. I took a photo, I paint this painting when I come back to Tianjin, you know. So those are, uh, then this, the first painting I painted in the Little Rock when I came to the FSU, uh, F uh, ULR for my graduate school. So the painting class, the professor asked you, you can paint something from your left experience. So that's my first painting, oil painting. I created 2000, year January, I think I remember that, 2000. And then based on that, uh, Shasha again, you know, in the snow background. One day she after school, she's on the roadside. I took a photo. I like the contrast of the snow and her, you know. So I, I based on that, I create like this old man. Uh, he's, I draw him outside his cottage, you know, kind of his home. Well, I saw the drawing earlier, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I still remember I, my brush frozen, you know, five minutes later, oh. my brush frozen because the ink is too cold. So he uh, invited us to his house. He brings some wood, firewood to start firing, warm up. So I still remember his wrinkles on his hands. So uh, then I took a photo outside where he's he's always walking, you know. So he pipe, he he, he smoke, you know. That's the traditional pipe. So I did that. Uh, you remember that drawing I just showed you in the yes. drawing? So I did the uh, etching, uh, like the. So this is a serious painting I created based on that, you know, like that life experience. This yeah. is a monochromatic for the uh, a boy from that. Uh, curiosity from that they see stranger from the outside you know shasha in the school elementary school that's where the classroom you know the blackboard behind the chair uh, where they sit uh, you know so that's a life you know like i, I created uh, like about 20 paintings based on that waiting for new year after school you know so uh the the drawing i did uh is based on that too you see that that one i just showed you uh, this one i did the etching yeah in little rock that uh, we have a professor teaching uh, printmaking so in the uh, etching assignment so i using that photo uh, yeah. at copper uh, using a copper plate uh, that's my first etching you know i never done fetch etching but i love it using the hatching cross hatching this is the one edition i printed out the really light uh, you know the other one the next one you know, like this one, I, I inked it heavier. You can Much see the dark, dark more darker, right? Uh, so there are two, uh, I, I printed out several editions, but these are two different ones I still uh, have. You know, you can see the, the hatching marks, you know. Uh, so based on that, when I came to FSU, I did another one, like a larger one, even bigger, hmm. uh, 40 inches, like a, the etching, uh, like a monoprint, kind of like a, using the copper plate, but I inked a different color, you know, uh, so to record the life. A lot of different things here? No, uh, no, no, yeah, the, using the pine needle, you see that when I bite it, etching it, I use a real, real uh, uh, a pine needle, you know, the, the pine tree. So I put on a, uh, the copper plate and then bite it in acid. So mm. get some texture, you know. Uh, so I try to get those old wall feeling, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, so so that's the drawing. I pretty limited study the, for that painting. Remember that painting I did? Yeah. Uh, so that's a drawing I did uh, in the Little Rock, 1999, December, I think I remember I did that. Uh, hatching you know so through years you can see oh, i did different styles you know like yeah. i also study still life remember still life like a uh, for oil painting uh yeah. you know like uh, i set up my 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 son's violin on the wall and then cast a shadow and paint 
try to uh, study the realistic, you know, like a old machine, a sewing machine, my grandma's table, you know, mm -hmm. like a uh, messenger bag, whatever, and, you know, whatever I like to put on the table, you know, the uh, teapot, you know. So I did a serious still life for study of color, you know. Yeah. So through years, I did a different subject. So all of these are helped me to become what who I am now, you know. Yeah. So later you can you can you know a calligraphy, uh, printmaking, calligraphy. I did printmaking uh, in a certain class. You know the wood woodcut, uh, the rural the kitchen from that yeah. village experience. The rooster. That's my first woodcut. The second one I did the year, year of dragon. You know based on the concept of uh, uh, the culture over there using dragon as symbols, uh, like an open book. You know you open that book. <laughs> Uh, Chinese culture can be uh, very deep, you know, like a rich historical. So dragon is the symbol of that culture, very powerful. So, but uh, through history, there's so many symbols. There, this one from the palace, the tile, you know, the surface design, mm -hmm. the tile. So I using those symbols, the Peking opera, the warrior. Sometimes people have two dull, dull personality, uh, you know, sometimes shows that way, sometimes show that. So I'm in between the culture that time. So I, I using that idea, two sides of me. So, and then like an open book. Uh, so wood cut, uh, cut that one and print. And then I uh, using that block, make the mono print on a, in a painted color on the acetate, uh, acetate, you know, like a, the yeah. a, a transparency and then print it out and print the black on top, you know, the, you know, this on the rice, rice paper. So I did a, a series like this one is on a different color, you know, so what else? Uh, calligraphy, right? So we, I did the uh, calligraphy also. Calligraphy is a uh, training. Remember the different style, traditional style, the Lee style. Every uh, you know, clear your mind. You see the the world. So kind of like a practice every day before you're painting. Mm -hmm. Those are some uh, calligraphy I did through years. Uh, advanced level is more wild cursive. You know, like you can do yeah. more, but still you have to follow the rules. You know, <laughs> so, uh, so you know. But uh, you know, through years, uh, those are the uh, like this one, the Xing style. Uh, my professor taught me the basic I kind of developed now for, for my own, you know, the three years I did a lot of, you know, different style, you know, uh, yeah. the, the, those are in the expansion. Oh. You can see the, the mounted work is different from the original, the, pa the rice paper yeah. sent to special worker one back China sometime and they mounted for me so I can bring it back to display. So mounting is kind of like a framing, you know, it's more, looks yeah. more better. Uh, I think that that's most of the stuff I want to show you for now. You know, so well, I did uh, so many exhibitions. Yeah, you can continue to ask me questions. You know. Yeah, I was just going. Well, th I'm glad you brought up these the, the photos again. Uh, these pictures of your more current work, mm -hmm. um, because you were talking about when you looked at that woodcut and you were kind of between cultures. I I kind of feel like you're responding to this. Um, I was going to ask you about your students and their if they've been talking about the uh, the current situation and Black Lives Matters, it is an HBCU. And so it's kind of interesting, your sort of outside take on that culture. And uh, if you have any reflections on that. Yeah, the, this one, uh, recently I teach on uh, remote online. So after right. spring break like in March, you know, like, so I, I haven't seen my students since then <laughs> from right. March. So that's, I couldn't really discuss more about what the current, you know, issues, but I uh, using my painting to reflect a little bit. Sometime in the class, uh, you know, recently I teach this semester teaching two drawing one section and one oil painting. I haven't reached to the, you know, some semester I teach drawing two or the yeah. advanced workshop. So in the advanced workshop, I have special uh, topics in painting that time I talk more so I give them assignment because they, uh, they create a serious work based on their life experience yeah. but that's not recently this semester and last semester I didn't teach that class but uh, next semester if I continue to teach that I might have opened up a discussion for current issues social issues black matter black lives matters or you know social current uh, you know those things so I think there might stimulate their you know their creation uh, for a serious mm -hmm. body of work I didn't know if in just in passing online that they've been saying anything that you uh, not not yet uh, the the drawing class drawing one I gave them the basic still life drawing you know yeah, like to see the still life behind cool. me so we're busy working on the value shad shadow and hatching and you know I give them different assignments but every class is really busy so far we have three assignments you know continuous tone contour line drawing continuous tone and then we'll work on the hatching cross hatching uh, let me show you some of my students work right teaching sure. hey you can see uh, some of my students work 
over here. See, those are all from my FAMU students' work. Mm -hmm. uh, this drawing one, uh, cell portrait, I give them a cell portrait assignment. You uh, this cell portrait, not only just a cell portrait, you had a, a, a cell portrait narrative. You tell yeah. me uh, yourself, who you are, where you come from, what's your favorite stuff, you know? So your hometown could be your, your you know, like a, your favorite uh, things, you know? So you list six different ideas from your own life, uh, where you came from, where you you like to travel, you know, a certain place you liked. So this student, she's uh, she from Miami. Now she live in St. Pete, uh, in St. Petersburg. And then she's an art major. Uh, she loves to paint. So pencil and brush and paint, that's her life. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, like she's, that's herself. So I give them the idea. Then they, I show them how to do the portrait, self portrait. I do a demo and then I help them do the proportion and everything. So we have four days for this assignment, each day, like two and a half hours. First two days, we work on the portrait. I give them a mirror. So they, you look the mirror, like the mirror tile, you know, over like, a, you see that Home Depot, yeah. Yeah. they have that. So I give them this, you look through it and you sit next to the window, the easel, and then you draw from life. Then yeah. I, uh, you know, I help them individually so they know the proportion. And then the, the next class, we start working on the thumbnail sketch about the concept, uh, like, you know, how to make the composition. You know, you, you show me six different ideas. Uh, then after that, we narrow down to one. You know, you can, you can collect photo images and then start work on the background. The last two days, we work on the thumbnail and the background. So four, four to five days, sometimes students work longer, so five days project. You know, that's the cell port. This one is a more advanced level, like a drawing two. Drawing two, we, based on drawing one, we learn eight to 10 different techniques. And then drawing two, I give them concept. Like this one is a window drawing, like a drawing based on window. So in your life, I show them the artists, how they, they paint their draw, include the window into their composition. So uh, you, you need to show me one of your life space, uh, uh, include a window. So some students paint, uh, draw the church. They go to church on Sunday, so the church window. And this, uh, she's an art major, but she loved photography. You know, like, so she took photo. So this is an old flower uh, house, like, uh, you know, on campus. So they, no one uses it anymore, but this is like an old abandoned warehouse. You know, she took a photo as her friend. I like the light. She, she angle the contrast so she's using that photo and then she started drawing so that's one of, in drawing two you can see the difference drawing one join two uh mm -hmm. life drawing uh, we have the model set up uh, so she's back and forth for that lag <laughs> i still remember too long so i talked erase it at first she, she don't she does she refuse to re erase it. i said no problem you erase it you know and i will upgrade it based on the proportion not the you know the the uh the erase so she's Finally, she re erased it, rework on that. Uh, it turned out nice. You know, so using color crayon to draw in the life drawing. She's a psychology <laughs> major, not the art major, but she, she loved to draw. You know, really a uh, good drawer, you know. So I still remember that's her senior year. Last semester, she took a, a class for fun, you know, but she turned out good. Uh, yeah. Self portrait again, self portrait assignment from last semester, I think last, last year, uh, you know, two semesters ago. So she's worked on the self portraits. You know, the uh, mm -hmm. different technique, hatching, continuous tone, contour line, so that gives them the midterm based on the technique, you know. So all of these are, are from different class. Uh, last semester, we're using the, the African mask, you know, that relate to culture because I wanted them to, we have a collection for African mask in our art collection. Yes. So I borrowed several masks, I set it up and the fabric, I uh, have that cloth from the my own collection. So I set up the still life, students work on that. Uh, using charcoal. So, you know, uh, cell portrait again. Mm -hmm. So all of these are, are through the years, linear perspective, you know, all of this uh, is from different uh, class, you know, watercolor, uh, oil painting, you know, so more, uh, she like cartoon comic books. So she, her, uh, <laughs> like a friends, this is an assignment in joined to friends. Uh, you, she's working on a party, homecoming party, like with her friends. Yeah. Uh, that, that's herself. Look like her, but she's kind of uh, exactly her face. It's cartooning, yeah. Yeah, uh, cartooning, you know. So, you know, students have their own potential. I, I give them the Malone, he's from New York, like the cell portrait. Uh, he loved the landscape in New York State, upper New York State. So he, he draw that. Now mm. he's at USF for his MFA, you know, so he's already in grad school. <laughs> the Wonderful. other day I saw on Facebook, he sent me the link for his current work, you know, so all of all of those, I sometimes give them the, in drawing two, I give a detailed study for the uh, hatching, it developed from the bit drawing one, uh, like a three or four class, you know, really life size, uh, four, 30 inches, large size, 
uh, the study for the details for the still life, you know. Nah. Yeah. So advanced workshop, let me find some work. Uh, so this one's uh, like, like an oil painting. That's a painting class. So he, he worked on the three or four paintings as the same idea. So he's, that's himself. Uh, he's in a relation with a girl. You know, the girl always standing there asking to buy things. <laughs> <laughs> that's his story. He said he's, he he's no money. Like, he has no money. His <laughs> pocket's empty. So that's his idea. You know, finally we installed this piece in the gallery, but now it's just that uh, he laid out, out on the table. You know, he painted on the panel. Uh, so that's advanced workshop. I gave them uh, some other piece, like uh, in my Chinese painting. Let me see my Chinese uh, painting class. I have some student work on the, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think uh, those are the, some, you know, join to whatever the advanced workshop. Let me show you some, the student working in the classroom. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's where they're working in the studio. You know, oh. you can see the, in the classroom. So I set up the still life, just this study. That's the midterm. So the four different techniques, you, you into four box. You can draw different things from different section, but using different technique, gesture, oh. hatching, cross hatching, continuous tone, contour line, you know. So that's the four technique we covered so far. Uh, join, uh, join one, the final, we work on the color crayons with the color on the black paper, you know oil painting class, they work on the glazing technique. So through the uh, join to uh, like family, your, your, your self identity, that's the herself when she were younger, her mom, you know, so you tell me a story. Uh, and then copy masterpiece in acrylic painting. So he's architecture major. So, you know, we have so many talented students here in the program. See the Chinese painting class, I gave them the assignment, work on the copy of uh, old silk painting. You see that, uh, the oh, Gongbi style. Yeah. Uh, so two hands, uh, rotate brush. <laughs> She's left-handed, so wait, I'm left-handed too. So that I show her how to use two brush to do. Mm. One, for, one for color, one for water, you know, to dilute the color. So that's the copy masterpiece. So, you know, so we work on you know, like ink, landscape, flower and birds, you know, all of this. So that's the teaching, you know. Wow. Well, that's fantastic. I, I love how you've incorporated what your your different uh, techniques that you've learned throughout your life and into the into the classroom. So, mm -hmm. um, fantastic. Uh, is there anything coming up for you in terms of uh, artwork uh, exhibitions or anything? Uh, I just have I got an award from the Sumi National Sumi Society show from the yesterday. They, they, yeah. yeah, yeah. They emailed me. Uh, I got a Blue Heron chapter award for my painting. One of my painting, uh, like the student. Uh, let me show you the piece. I think the it's a uh, it's inside here. <clears throat> uh, I submit that this piece. This piece uh, got a, a Blue Heron chapter award. Uh, I don't know how much, <laughs> but they will mail, mail me the check. But this year I got that. Uh, one of my calligraphy piece uh, received a Sumi Star Award. So that one in the calligraphy, you know, the the uh, wild cursive style. I think that this one, uh, this piece got a, a award for calligraphy for this year. So. Wow. Uh, two pieces. I, I, I submitted the four pieces. Two pieces got in. Uh, both of them uh, got a reward. So I, I you know, like an award. You know. So I think that's good for this year. That's good news. Uh, uh, not have this too much exhibition scheduled. Uh, there's one in Mississippi in 2014. Maybe one in 2013, the Middle Tennessee University. But those are still uh, working on it. You know, because the uh, COVID-19, everything, you know, will change, right. but uh, we, we I haven't finalized, but uh, they, they emailed me interest, asked me to have show there, but uh, we'll still work on it. But okay. that, that's next, you know. Fantastic. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for your, um, for your time, and uh, I'm going to, uh, we'll stop the recording in a little bit, but uh, thanks thank again for yeah, your thank time. You. And, uh, I, Love seeing all of your work and kind of going through it. And I'll definitely link to your website and mm -hmm. and um, all of that. So thank you uh, very much. You invite me to have this uh, experience, uh, the opportunity to share my experience with your, you and your student. All perfect. right. Okay. Thanks Just, so much. Uh, th thank you. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. To find out more about how NEA grants impact individuals and communities, visit www.arts.gov.